As a human, your goal is to escape the invasion with your life. This means you need to locate various escape routes and find the necessary items to open them before Clownpocalypse detonates. There are several options when it comes to escapes for humans, all of which are randomized in placement and require a different combination of steps to open. If you're planning on escaping an invasion successfully, you'll need to perform these necessary steps, all while evading and defending yourself from the killer clowns hunting you down. The town of Crescent Cove is, well, located on a cove. It follows that you'll have an opportunity for a water escape, and as it happens, there's a broken down boat docked somewhere in every map. Humans will need to find a spark plug to repair the engine, and a gas can to fuel it up. There's only room for three humans on the boat, so if you're in a group of four, you'll have to figure things out. On the flip side, if you manage to fix and start the boat on your own, you get to choose escaping alone or risking your neck waiting for the others. If while sneaking around you notice a large concrete structure, you found the bunker, a sealed off safe house escape. Humans will need to find the gas can to power the generator and a special access card to open the door via the keypad. Be sure to prepare for the door opening, because once it's open, it's open for a very limited time and only has room for three humans. After that, you're out of luck and you'll need to find another escape opportunity. This strange looking contraption is the portal machine. The ever vigilant Wesker Newton found a way to reverse engineer some clown tech and well, now there's a portal to escape through. Humans will need to find a spark plug, then interact to open up the portal, which needs to be held open for others to escape through. While you can hold it open as long as you'd like, letting go of the portal controls will cause the portal to start closing, but will stay open just long enough for you to slip through. Once the portal fully collapses, a new spark plug is needed to open it. There are several types of barricaded gate exits that can exist around the exterior of maps. Finding a gate key will give you the ability to open up the gate that is blocking these derelict escapes. Due to their dangerous state, these gates are barricaded with a wood barrier that needs to be smashed down with melee weapons, which can be extremely noisy. Once through this barricade, you can use the gate key and escape through the precarious exit. If too many humans have tread through these areas, the routes will collapse, preventing any further escape. It's also worth noting that clowns have the ability to coat each of these escapes with cotton candy blockages. This prevents escape progress and must be cleared off before you can continue escaping. Watch out though, because failing quick time events while clearing cotton candy or interacting with escape objects can signal the clowns of your presence. While all of these escape options are ideal, sometimes things just don't go to plan, and you're left to die in the impending clown apocalypse. I am so fucked. Luckily, when there's 30 seconds left in the match, the Terenzi brothers crash through an exterior wall and provide one last escape route. It'll be up to any remaining humans to get there in time, and up to the clowns to stop them. At zero seconds, the clown apocalypse detonates, which quickly covers the map and kills any humans that have not escaped. We here at the studio have been having such an amazing time playing this and developing it, and we really can't wait to release this amazing experience for everyone to enjoy. We hope you have lots of heart-pounding fun and killer clowns invading June 4th. We'll see you guys there.